This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Reflection, 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year C. Luke 20, 27-38 Our relationship with God does not end in death. Peter and John went to pay their last respect to their colleague who died in an accident. During the viewing, when Peter looked at the deceased, he burst into laughter. John was embarrassed by what his friend did. So, on their way out, he told Peter, Listen, that's no way to do at a funeral. You are hurting people's feelings. Why did you burst out laughing? Peter replied, I will tell you why. You see, the day before Mike was killed, we were working together. He was telling me he didn't believe either in heaven or hell. When I saw him, I had to laugh, for there he was, all dressed up, and no place to go. Like Mike, who didn't believe either in heaven or hell, the Sadducees denied that there was resurrection because there was no mention of the afterlife in the Torah. For them, it is a revolutionary idea which strengthened their position. And to ridicule the belief in the resurrection, they questioned Jesus by citing the law on leveret marriage. This states that if a man dies leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. The Sadducees asked Jesus, There were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her, and likewise all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? Jesus answered this question by telling them not to think of heaven in terms of this earth. Resurrection is not a continuation of earthly life. It is a different mode of existence. They do not have to marry to bear children or raise up descendants for their families because they become like angels. Jesus said, Those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die because they are like angels and they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise. Jesus pointed out to them, first, that God is the God of the living. Even Moses himself heard God said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. These patriarchs had died centuries earlier, but since they were mentioned, they must be resurrected from the dead. Second, our relationship with God does not cease in death. Resurrection from dead is a confirmation that our relationship with God cannot be subject to mere physical death. In the preface for Christian death, we pray, Lord, for your faithful people, life is changed, not ended. When the body of our earthly dwelling lies in death, we gain an everlasting place in heaven. Third, resurrection is beyond our imagination. While we cannot yet fathom its true reality, what matters most is the possibility of eternal relationship with God. God's love brought us into existence, and death cannot turn off this love. If we believe in Christ, we shall have eternal life in Him.